Hello, and thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here today on the baseball fields at Palos Verdes High School, home of the Sea Kings, and now it's time to meet the team. We have a good group of guys, like you said, you mentioned the seniors, and, and it starts with them. Um, even though we have so many seniors, it's an inexperienced bunch, um, So they, but they've put in their work over the last four years, um, so they understand what we're trying to do, they understand the program, they understand how we should interact with each other, and uh, ultimately, if it's going to be success, successful, they have to be selfless, and, and they bought into that, and they understand that. And it's not, I say bought in, but it, we're not selling it, it's, no. it's just, it's, just, it's the truth, it's the way it is. You know, one of the things that I love the most about baseball, especially in high school, is every year you have a different team. Yes. What has this, what has been sort of the nature of this team this year? It's a good question. Oh, man. Um, like I said, they're a really good group of kids. They're, they're genuinely good, sincere kids, um, and it's fun to be around them. Uh, they work hard. They don't get too up, they don't get too down. They understand it's a long process and, and that daily grind of trying to get better every single day type of thing. And, and there's uh, there's not a day out here where I'm I leave in a bad mood when I'm around these guys. It's a good group. Yeah, it's and it's interesting because I I mean they have such a love for this game. Most of them have been playing their whole life. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that you know, it's it's just so it, it's unique to see guys out here. So many that are saying we don't have to be out here. We we get to be out here. Right. You know, and they still appreciate that. That's good. It's a, like right now it's spring break and, and you always hear baseball players don't get spring break or spring athletes don't get spring break and uh, we talked about it last week and it's like we do get a spring break. This is our spring break and this is how we chose to spend it with each other. Uh, so let's make the most of it, enjoy each, each moment we're out here instead of pouting and complaining where else we could have been um, and try to have fun with it. Yeah. What do you get out of each year as a coach? <clears throat> each year is different. Um, obviously just the, the competitive spirit of it is, is what I enjoy, but then as a coach, um, trying to find and, and mold the pieces together, um, coaching them to whatever their goals are individually and team-wise, and uh, just getting to know them uh, as the season goes and seeing them deal with the stuff, adversity on and off the field, mostly off the field, um, and how they react to that, how they respond to that, and, and how they can trust each other to, to <clears throat> have a support group there for them. I like the responsibility you also put in them, and I asked them, what's the message that the coach always wants to leave with you? There were many, but one of them is get better every day. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of our assistant coaches, uh, Coach Matty Stanovich, every single day. That's, that's, that's his go-to is get better. Get better every day. Get better. We got anything to add? Get better, guys. So um, that's, that's a big one. And then the other one is just put a lot of it on, on the players. It's their program. It, they make of it what they will. Um, right? If, like, just like today, if they were out here complaining and, and moping around, then it's going to be a miserable experience. Um, if they have the music going and having fun and we do some things out of – the ordinary, then it's enjoyable and it, it's, it, it makes makes it more valuable or more enjoyable experience. You've been you've been playing baseball for how long? Probably since around four years old. Started at PB Little League or T ball, whenever that was. But did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I played football, basketball, soccer, lacrosse, everything basically. But they're super different. Yeah. Football and baseball, so it's good. Like. Football is a little more it's very intense, and sometimes coming to baseball is a little more laid back, but it's also it's a great atmosphere to be a part of. You had mentioned that you had been pitching the, the last several years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the school time and, and now that you're a senior, how did you sort of balance the time? Because obviously when you're pitching, it re requires a lot more time of you. Yeah, I'd say taking a zero period helped me a lot throughout the years, but also just managing the time, going through, getting work done on some days when you don't have practice the other day with the block schedule and that kind of helped me a lot. Also getting ahead on the weekends during weeks with long practices. What message does your coach leave with you or something you'll always remember? So one thing is always it's your program and what you want to do is your choice. It kind of like it's a level of just maturity and also like leadership to take upon yourself and what you want to get out of it. I have been playing baseball since I was around four or five. I started in t-ball and I chose it because my brothers played and my dad played when he was younger and he really liked it. So. Did you ever try any other sports? Not really. really? I played I played a few other sports just for athleticism, but I was really only baseball. Okay, what um, position do you play right now? I'm a pitcher. Oh, you are a pitcher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you always pitch or have you played all over the field? Mm -mm. Uh, this year I more converted to a p uh, pitching. Okay. But uh, I've played a lot more third base and outfield. 
what have you worked on specifically to get a little bit better in your own game? Uh, I've worked on getting bigger and stronger. So I've, I've worked on a lot of weight training and, and you know, well, genetics getting taller. Do you prefer pitching? I do prefer pitching. Okay. Uh, I really enjoy pitching. What is di what, what's different about the mindset when you're pitching? As a, as a pitcher, you have a lot of different factors. So it's, it's, it's very hard to, you know, have a bad mindset when you're pitching. So it's, you can be a left fielder and you know, look into the crowd and then look right back and you know, your pitcher's doing the, the, the pitching. But as a pitcher, you have to stay locked in kind of the whole time. What has this last year been like for you so far? Oh, it's been fun. I really enjoyed you know, playing with the guys and, and just having a good year. I've been playing baseball since I was like five, like right around there. Um, I just chose it because my parents were trying to get me into like sports and stuff young and my brother played it so I was just yeah that's basically why I chose it. Did you ever try any other sports? Or? Uh, yeah I played a bunch of sports growing up like soccer, basketball, football but I was just always the best at baseball so I kind of st stuck with it. And what position do you play? Uh, I'm a pitcher and shortstop. I really like pitching just because like you're kind of like the center of everything and you, like if you don't throw the strikes your team's not going to like succeed so I kind of like pitching because yeah. How much time do you throw every day? Um, it depends how my arm's feeling, I, but I like to throw a good amount every day. You know, every year the team changes. What, what do you think you've learned the most from the seniors on this team? Um, they've really helped me being like the younger guy on the team. They've just helped me like adapt to the environment with like uh, the higher com competition and like more people in the stands. But they've really helped me throughout this year, just like to calm me down and stuff. That's good. What's the message that your coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, that someone's always watching, so just it helps you stay on your toes and know to always do the right thing and never slack off or anything. Um, I kind of grew up with a bat and ball in my hands and I kind of just ended up loving the game and ever since I've just been pitching. So. I did. I played basketball and football. Okay. So. Um, I mean, honestly, I, it was baseball for the most part of it, and then for whatever reason, about eighth grade, I was like, I kind of want to play basketball and football, so I ended up kind of focusing on that throughout my high school career, okay. and uh, baseball kind of took a back seat, but they're all kind of, they're all like my children, I just like to say, you know, I love them all, but just differently. What did you work on from season to season to get a little bit better? For me, it was throwing strikes. You know, I think uh, Coach Mo and Coach Steve can attest to that. Um, I was a big kid, you know, kind of a lot of legs, a lot of arms. Um, so for me, it was just being in the zone, being consistent in the zone. That was based on my whole progression throughout my four years. What do you think you're going to remember most about this experience? Oh, uh, all the guys. You know, um, you know, being right there, right here, right now, it's kind of one of those things that you just can't ever forget. You know, a lot of the inside jokes, a lot of the being out with your coaches and players, it's just unforgettable experiences. What's the message you think you'll always remember from your coach? Um, why can't you throw strikes? Do a better job of throwing strikes. That'll probably be what uh, I'll remember the most. You hear in your ear. You hear in my ear. I'll, be, I'll wake up at night in a puddle of sweat, and I'll be like, all right, that's all me. So that's probably what I would focus on. Uh, I've been playing baseball for probably around 12 years. So, and it was really, it's been, this and baseball and tennis have been my lifelong sports. I come from a big tennis family. Okay. My uncle is a, was a professional tennis player, but baseball really, was what I loved, and I was really had a bigger passion for baseball rather than tennis. It's interesting. What do you think you've learned from tennis that actually helps you in this game? Definitely footwork, like pre-pitch, all in footwork, and also the mental side of it. When tennis is a it's a it's a single sport, but having a team as baseball, it's really you have people to support you, unlike tennis. And um, what position do you play? Uh, this year I've been pitching more, okay. but uh, these past few years I've been playing infield, third base, and shortstop. Have you moved around the field your whole life playing baseball? Yeah, I've been, I can really feel like I can play anywhere. Okay. I feel like that's one thing that I've been blessed with athletically is the ability to switch up positions and go from an infielder to strictly a pitcher or back to the field. What have you worked on the most from season to season to get a little better? Definitely, for me, it's my mobility and how my body can move and getting loose and being able to throw hard and throw more strikes and also getting some more explosiveness. And yeah. What's the message that your coach always wants you guys to remember? Um, just get better every day. Keep your focus in. Be focused all seven innings or all, all the time we're practicing is just to get better, put the effort in. I've been playing 
since probably five or six years old, T-ball, TV Little League. Um, I love baseball. Like, I love everything about it. I love the atmosphere, the field, the whole feeling. Like, I love it. I just immediately gravitated to it and kind of just stuck with it all the way, so. Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I played basketball and football. I played basketball up to eighth grade. I love basketball too, love basketball. I sometimes regret, I think I should still be playing basketball a little bit, but yeah, and then I played football to freshman year. So, okay. and then I stopped playing, I focused on baseball. But I was just gonna say, it yeah. seems like you're more focused right now on baseball. For sure, yeah, what, what position are you playing? I'm a pitcher this year, okay. yeah, which and, is new for me, but. And I was gonna ask you that, because you've played for so long, you probably played right. all around the field. For sure. So where do you, what position do you prefer? This year, I love pitching, actually. You. Yeah, I used to be an infielder, and kind of bouncing around was super fun, but I think that helped me translate into pitching. Okay. Um, a lot, and having good fat, fast feet, good footwork and stuff, helped with pitching a lot, so. I was gonna say, what did you work on, maybe even last year, to prepare yourself for what you're doing now? I think just getting my arms stronger, and being able to get my entire body stronger, helps with pitching, it helps with any position on the field, really, just kind of translate well. And, yeah, for sure. Okay, for every year, you know, it's a different team, guys come and, come and go. Um, what do you think you've learned most from the seniors this year? I think a lot is about how our team kind of melts together and our camaraderie this year. Like, seniors did a great job including everyone and making sure, like, our varsity team is super close with each other. Okay. And I love that. I've been playing, what, 10 years now? Okay. And I've always been, like, a couple sport athlete. So, like, baseball, football, and hockey. Okay. And since like this year, I really just like locked in for baseball. What position are you playing right now? Um, I'm like a PO right now, but okay. then next year I'm hoping to go back to playing the field. Oh, okay. And what do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better in this game? A lot of things is like my like mobility and my velocity. So mm -hmm. I always got to get that up. And I'm always working on control too. And like my off speed pitches. Okay, and because you play other sports, what do you think that you learn from playing other games that helps you on the baseball field? I get a lot of adversity from football, yes. like mental toughness with my coaches, and like from hockey, who is also very physical. Very physical. Yeah. yeah. So I can bring that out on the baseball field. Oh, what's the messages that your coach always wants you to remember? Throw strikes. You know, <laughs> That's have a good with that one. Sometimes. <laughs> well, actually, I've only ever played baseball my whole wow. life. Yeah, so okay. I started back when I was, I guess, T-ball age. So I'm not quite eight, eight, maybe something like that. Um, I've been playing ever since. I love it. Uh, for a reason why, I guess you'd have to ask my past self, but I've loved it ever since. So I mean, you know, never, never looked at anything, anything else but baseball. Yeah. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little bit better? Um, just focusing on minimizing like the the really easy things, making the easy things look easy. You know what I mean? I feel like with baseball, it's it's easy to kind of get caught up in that type of stuff, you know what I mean? And just being able to simplify the easy stuff and making the routine plays look routine, I think is the most important thing. Because, you know, spectacular plays, everyone makes them. Maybe they can be lucky once in a while, but making those easy things look easy and right. just focusing on the basics is something I like to work on all the time. I think it's just the fun of the game. I love being here. I love being around my boys. and. That having fun every day, I think, is what keeps everyone pushing. You know what I mean? So, what what do you think you've learned from um, some of those seniors on the team? I love these guys, man. The seniors are really big inspiration, really big help to us. You know, I mean, they kind of guide us. You know, if I ever have a question, I'll go to I'll go to any of the seniors. I know I can trust them. And uh, really big, good group we got here. So, and then next year you'll be that guy. Yeah, I'll, I will be in that group next year. Yeah, I think we have a good junior class going into that next yeah. year, and I think we're going to do great. Okay, and then what's the message that your coach always wants you guys to remember? Um get better. They say it every day before practice, um, and it's true. I mean, every, everything we do, we should have a, you know, a goal in mind and trying, trying to get to a certain point, which is just, you know what I mean, as a team, just collectively elevating ourselves. And I think get better is probably the most simple way of putting that. So, I've been playing baseball since I was probably like four or five years old, since the day I can remember, really. Okay. And I started playing because it just felt right ever, ever since I put on a glove and I just started fielding. Just felt like it was the right sport for me, so I continued to just fall in love with it and keep practicing. And now it's the sport I choose to play every day. Did you try any other sports, or? Yeah, I, I currently play football also. Okay. And I played soccer throughout my whole childhood, and I think it really just developed me into the baseball player I am today because it got my hand-eye coordination better. Like all the other sports, just got me to get better. My main focus was baseball throughout my whole life. So. Do you play on a travel team as well? I don't currently play on a travel team because most of the summer I'm playing football. Oh, right. 
And then, oh, wait, what do you work on specifically in baseball to get a little better from season to season? I mainly work on just taking care of my arm so I can come back down a little bit harder. I, it's pretty muscle memory, just fielding and hitting. And Well, I also work on hitting a lot because that's the hardest part of the game. But yeah. I uh, mainly work, focus on my arm just to make sure I'm healthy and I can always be ready to perform and not have to be out. What position do you play right now? I play third base, outfield, and a little bit of middle infield. Do you prefer one infield. over the other? or? I honestly prefer to play infield because it's what I've played my whole life, but I, I do whatever the coach needs me to do. Okay, yeah. that's good. From each season to season, you you have different players coming in, different guys going out. What do you think you've learned the most from the seniors? I've learned that you got to treat everybody in this program like their family because we really are just one big family, and we got to help each other out when there's highs and lows and just be there for each other throughout everything. This is our family throughout high school. Very good. Is there a message that your coach always wants you guys to remember? Get better and work hard and treat everybody like a brother around you. What's it been like this year playing baseball in your senior year? It's a lot of fun uh, knowing it's our last year playing as a group of kids. We've been playing all our entire life. Um, it's, it's for sure super fun, bittersweet. Uh, you're taking advantage of every moment, so getting out here every day is it's like a privilege, and um, I think we all are in the same kind of headspace with that. Um, so it's just every day is, is it's just a fun time being out here. How long have you been playing baseball? Oh gosh, as early as you could start. Uh, I was t-ball probably like six, five, six years old. Um, t-ball at my local little league with all, some of these guys. Um, so it's, it's almost been like a whole life thing for me. Did you ever try any other sports? I did, I played uh, football. Um, and basketball. I played football. I didn't play basketball for the school, but I played football for the school and got hurt. So I missed missed out on a couple baseball seasons, which kind of bummed me out. So I hung up those cleats and focused fully on baseball. And I'm 100% glad I did that decision. What position do you play? I play outfield, and then I just started pitching this year. So oh. I've been getting some innings on the mound, which is making it a lot more fun too. When, because you've been playing for so long, what did you work on from season to season and get a little better? Uh, honestly, it was just that staying consistent and um, just finding a stable um, men me mental space because I, I, I think baseball is 95% mental. So I think it's me staying in a good headspace during the season and preseason and then um, just continue to work on hitting off the tee every day at my house or at the cage, at the cage here, um, throwing as much as I can. I think just keeping that consistency, lifting weights, getting stronger is is really the keys that I've been following for my baseball career. Is there a message that you will always remember that your coach says to you guys? Um, I've just remembered it my past four years. It's it's kind of what we've been playing by. It's, it's like a privilege being out here every day. And if you're if you're not feeling that, then it's probably not your thing. And I think every one of us are feeling that, uh, especially this year, that it's really a privilege and every moment should be taken for granted. And I feel like that's what we've kind of played by. And I, it's something I remembered. I've been playing ever since I was five years old. I my dad originally got me into it and I've loved it ever since pretty much. Did you ever try any other sports? I did, I tried soccer for a little bit, not my thing, and then I tried football freshman year. Also not really my thing, just my one true match always in baseball. And what position are you playing? Right now I am an outfielder and pitcher. Okay, and did you, obviously you've been playing for a long time, have you played like all the positions on the field? I actually have, I've played one like half season catcher, couple seasons in the infield, it was, a lot of fun. What do you prefer now? Do you prefer pitching or playing in the in the field? I prefer pitching. Okay. Over that, I think I'm a primarily outfielder, so outfield overall. But best infield spot got me pitcher for me. Okay. What do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better in your own game? Season to season, honestly, in the off season, I'm really just trying to either gain weight and move a lot of weight fast. Because I think obviously it's a very explosive sport, so yeah. if you can't move fast, you're not going to generate a lot of power. So. Mm -hmm. And then obviously just try to get bigger, faster, stronger, main key points. Okay. How do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Um, honestly, this is a thing my parents issued when I started travel ball. Okay. If you don't keep your grades up, you don't play. Right. So my grades come first and then baseball because I'm a student athlete, not an athlete student. That's right. Very good. That's very good advice. Um, what kind of advice does your coach give you that you always sort of remember? I've always remembered that 
Ooh, there's a lot of good ones that I've had. I'd say my most memorable thing is that he's the coach and I'm the player. His job is to find players better than me, and my job is not to let that happen. What has this last year been like? It's been really fun, like, really taking time, taking a step back to, like, enjoy the game, enjoy it with my friends, and, like, it's been really fun. How long have you been playing baseball? Oh, ever since, ever since I was, like, five, right about, right there. Like, about five, I'd say. Did you ever try any other sports? I played soccer when I was growing up. I didn't like it. I played basketball. I didn't like it. And then I played football my freshman year, but I stopped after that. I stick with baseball. What What is it about baseball that really fit for you? I just like, it felt like what I was best at and like all my friends played and like we've, we've known each other since we were little. So like I want to stick with them and like keep playing with them. What position have you been playing? Uh, mainly second and pitcher. Okay. What did you work on from season to season to get a little better? Definitely uh, in the weight room, getting okay. stronger, getting bigger. Definitely add more power and more velo. I was asking some of the juniors um, what they learned from you guys. What do you think that you hope to leave with them? Uh, ooh. Probably that like everyone has a role. Uh, no one's ne no one's like never not in the game. Like you always have something to do. You always like have a job to do, whether it's in the dugout or on the field, like there's something you can do to help the team and help them win. What is the message you'll always remember from your coaches? Uh, I'd say get better every day. You know, they always tell us, you know, there's always something to improve upon mm -hmm. and just get better even by like 1% or 2% each day. Like there's something to get better on. So Patrick, this is your last year. Yeah. What has it been like? Oh man, quite the experience. You know, a lot of fun. A lot of not so fun, you know, uh, conditioning and stuff, but get used to it. Yeah, big part of my life for sure. When you sort of look back from season to season, uh, well, first of all, how long have you been playing baseball? I've been playing baseball since I was seven, so that's about, what, 10 years now? Okay. And what did you work on from season to season to get a little bit better in your game? Just staying in shape and, um, yeah, just creating good bonds with your teammates, you know, just make sure they have your back and things like that. Yeah. Did you try any other sports? Yes, I played flag football actually when I was like seven and eight, but I had a lot of injuries. And uh, freshman year, I tried playing tackle and I was out for like half the season with injuries. So, yeah. Stick with baseball. Yeah. What position have you been playing? Uh, I'm, a pit I'm a pitcher, I'm a PO. Okay. But uh, in Little League, I played pretty much everywhere, even catcher as a left handed person. Yeah. Did you, do you prefer pitching? I love pitching actually. Um, you know, just having like all the pressure on you. I mean, like some guys don't like it, but I think it's just like, it's a really key role in baseball. So, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, every other position is fun too, but yeah, pitching is definitely the best. From a mental standpoint, how do you sort of make that work? Because like you said, it, it is the pressure point, but it's also, it's also a good challenge. Oh yeah, so I just, you know, having like getting in a good rhythm and controlling your breathing, things like that, sort of just playing catch, you know, out there. That's really it. Okay, yeah. what, what's the message that your coach always wants to leave with you guys? Um, I would say just, we always talk about having good urgency and coming out in the field ready to play, and they always tell us to get better, get better. For every practice is one thing they say, and you know, yeah. For you, I've been asking some of the, um, the juniors what they're learning from you guys. What do you hope to leave with them? Um, I hope to leave just like a, a good legacy behind, like a lot of, um, a lot of like freshmen come in and they're kind of like shy. They just like, I want the team to have a good bond together and like become more like a family. Just things like that. Like. You are a senior. What has this last year been like? Uh, it's honestly been pretty nostalgic. Like time is flying, but it's going slow at the same time. It's, it's just, I love being here and being on the field with the team. When you kind of look back over the last few years of playing here, what do you think you remember the most? Just being around the guys, like the wins and losses, like they come and go, but the memories with these guys, like in the clubhouse, after a game, just they'll last a lot longer. Yeah. Sure. What position have you been playing? Uh, outfield. Okay. And over the years, I mean, how long have you been playing baseball? My whole life. Okay, yes, I thought. <laughs> yeah. uh, what did you sort of work on to get a little bit better for each, each year? Uh, I would say it would vary throughout the years. So this year I'm really focusing on my hitting, more so my fielding, because I did a lot of fielding clinics over the summer and I'm pretty confident in that. So I would say for this year, it would have to be my hitting. Okay, well, what was, to tell us about a fielding clinic, what do you do? 
Uh, you just do a lot of outfield drills, a lot of footwork, a lot of fly balls. Okay. Just really a lot of conditioning too. Okay, yeah, I'm sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, what is the message that you'll always remember from your coaches? Get better every day. I mean, that's just something that I'll always remember. I've been playing baseball since I probably was about six years old right in there. Okay. Um, I just, it was fun. I live right next to a baseball field. It's like a 30 second walk. So when I was a little kid, my dad signed me up and I just fell in love with it. I love the mental part of it. It's just a fun game to play. Did you play ever play any other sports or was it always baseball? Yeah, I played, I played football, basketball, and water polo. Okay. Uh, my dad played football in college, so he always wanted me to play football, but I just, I liked baseball a lot more. I got injured playing football, so I didn't. What do you think it was about baseball that made you really want to stick with it? it the mental aspect of it. I like okay. how mentally challenging it is. It's, it's a lot harder than other sports mentally, and I find that really fun. And did you play all over the field over the years? Yeah. Or, and where are you playing now? Right now I'm first base and a pitcher, but I played shortstop, outfield, I caught, I played everywhere. Did you have a specific position you liked the most? Um, I just like hitting the most, so okay. anywhere I can play where I can hit. Okay, <laughs> and and what do you work on from season to season to get a little better, besides work, the mental part? Working on my swing a lot, I love hitting, so I'll just, I'll hit for hours every day, it's super fun. Okay. And then work on throwing to throw harder for pitching, a different pitches. How do you sort of balance the school time with the sports time? Uh, I feel like I have plenty of time, like I'm taking a, couple, a good amount of honors classes and APs, but I feel like it bounces well. I love playing baseball, so I just, Whenever I have free time, I'll fill it up with baseball. You are a senior now. Yep. What has this last year been like so far? Uh, this is probably probably the best year ever. I mean, it's the most fun coming out here with these guys, just having some practices, going to games. It's been a blast with these guys. How long have you been playing baseball? Uh, ever since preschool. Wow. Yep. Your whole life. Yep, basically. What position have you been playing this year? Shortstop. All right. and. Over the years, what did you work on um, to get a little bit better every year? Uh, got to be agile, got to be fast to the ball, quick release, stuff like that. Did you like trying other positions or was it always short for you? So last year uh, I was third, which I liked a lot, but I've been playing shortstop my whole life, so just thought I'd go back to it for last year. What's the biggest challenge at short? Um, just that you're the captain, you got to lead lead everybody and everything, that's about it, yeah. Okay, and what is the message that the coach always kind of reminds you guys? Get better. Every, Every day. day. <laughs> Every day, get better. Okay, and what do you hope to leave to some of the younger players? I just hope to leave a good example that they can carry our tradition on, keep it going, have fun out here, don't see it as like, I have to go to baseball, but I get to go. Kaden, this is your senior year. It is, yeah. What has this been like? Uh, it's been it's been really fun, you know. Just it's kind of like a culminating experience. Everything's coming together, and it's a lot of hard work that's been put in over the past three years, and now we get to see it pay off. What position are you playing this year? I'm a catcher. Okay. Catcher this year. Have yeah. you always been a catcher? I have not always been a catcher. Um, I started playing baseball at short. You know, those was my first couple little league years, and then I moved to catching after a couple of years. And I played it for a while. Uh, last year I actually played first for us, but I'm back to catching this year, so. Okay, and what do you think you worked on from season to season to get a little bit better? Um, it was a lot of physical stuff. There was a lot of plyometric stuff, trying to get more explosive. And then in the game, just trying to keep my focus like right there in the game, you know, stay in it uh, at pitch by pitch. Okay, what is the message that you hope to leave with some of the younger players? Uh, it's their program. After we leave, it's, you know, up to them to lead the team and kind of do what they need to do to get the job done. What do you think you'll miss the most? I'm definitely going to miss having all the guys around, being on a baseball field and like the lovely Palace Race weather and uh, just the, there's a lot of team aspects in this game and I love that part of it. What's the message the coach always wants to remind you guys of? Uh, coach Mo really likes to, like I said earlier, it's our program and he's really good at letting us, you know, take control and kind of build leadership qualities throughout the years leading up to our senior year and then kind of just put them on display and let, let everyone know what we got our senior year. Noah, this is your senior year. Yep, senior year. What has it been like playing this year? It's been playing really fun, really fun. You know, last year, home would have to go with a bang, you know. Really having fun with the team, you know, fun with the guys, just be right there in the moment, you know. That's all I want to do, have fun. What, team. What, what position are you been playing? This I'm, year? I'm playing third base this year. You know, it's, it's a switch up. You know, second base now, third base now. 
Okay. You know, it's different from second base, third base, you know. Longer throws, you know, get in front of the ball easily more. Mm -hmm. What have you been working on from season to season to get a little bit better? Season on, we work in the weight room, you know, get a bit stronger, get, get our minds right, you know. You know, get the swings right, throws right. Make sure your body is feeling good in the season, so you don't have no injuries. Okay. And what's a message that your coach always wants you guys to remember? I know. A wise man once told me red tape is a good option in life. You know, aim the red tape in the cage. We have a red tape signed up in the cage. So, so red tape, go right there. Red tape. It's all you need. Straight down. Straight right? Straight down. Red tape. Okay. And then, Yogi Berra is a good option. You know, think of Yogi Berra in life. You know, because. Watch the documentary, Yogi Bear changed my life and make sure like red tape is right there. You are a senior as well. I am. Wow. I'm okay. a senior. So what has it been like playing this last year? It's been really fun. I'd say um, being a senior, kind of just helping the guys out a lot. I like the team chemistry. It's good to um, help out the younger guys too. Yes, yes. It's interesting because I've asked a lot of them like what they've learned from you. What have you learned from them? I'd say uh, their trust. They trust older guys. Um, I'd say that's a big factor that I've learned from them. And how long have you been playing baseball? I've been playing since, gosh, I'd say I'm three years old maybe. Three years old. As you got older and played, what did you sort of work on from season to season to get better? Um, I'd say, I'd say the mental game. I'd say that's the biggest part for me. Um, just like being able to flush it. If I strike out one day, move on to the next. And I'd say my timing when I hit. What so position are you playing this year? Uh, I play some first base and then DH. Sometimes. Okay. So. What's the biggest challenge playing first? Um, you're always in the action. You're always catching the ball. Uh, just knowing all the plays and stuff. I'd say it's the biggest. Um, what's the message that your coach wants to leave with you guys all the time? Uh, just get better, I'd say. Um, probably a lot of guys say that uh, every day in and out. Uh, I've been playing baseball for about 10 years now. I chose it because obviously I fell in love with the sport at a young age and kind of never looked back. I think I succeeded the best at that sport from a young age. So. Did you try any other sports? Yeah, I had an older brother that played football at USC, so my family was a big football school. So I played football for a little bit and um, kind of landed with baseball first. What was it about baseball that made you... For me, for me, it was the team aspect. I think as a team, everyone has to be together to be a successful um, you know, successful, successful ball club. For me personally, I like all the aspects of fielding, running, hitting. So. Over the years, um, what have you sort of done to work on something specific to get better from season to season? Uh, specifically for me, taking ground balls in the infield is a, is a challenge for a lot of guys. So just trying to make the routine plays day in and day out has been a big thing for me. What position are you playing? This year, I've switched between second, shortstop, and third base. Do you enjoy moving around? I do. Yeah, I think for me, it helps me helps me keep in the game. I don't want to get bored at second or short, so if I go to third base, it's always a good time. Okay, and then how are you sort of balancing the school time with the sports time? It's really tricky. It's really tricky being a student athlete for me, but I try to get ahead as much as I can, whether if I have to finish homework in the mornings or if I have to come home late and finish it before I go to bed, I try and stay on top of it as early as I can. Okay, and what's the message that your coach always wants you guys to remember? Mm. Probably, probably to get better. No matter what, if you're in baseball or in the classroom, always be progressing as a person, as an athlete too. So, all right, that's a big message. I've been playing baseball for 12 years now. Okay. And um, I don't know. This is just the only sport where I could really enjoy. I mean, I played other sports like basketball and football, but there, I, there was nothing I'd rather do than be out in the baseball field. So, what do you think it was about baseball? <sighs> Probably the camaraderie can't win just on your own like in some of those other sports. You gotta rely on your teammates. Okay. Are you a catcher? I'm a catcher. Have you always been a catcher? Yes. Okay. Yes. That, that is a more kind of cerebral and physical kind of position. What do you like about that? I just like being involved in every play. Like being anywhere else I just get bored and like find it hard to stay focused. I think it's the only position I'd be able to play. Okay. What do you work on from season to season to get a little bit better at that? Um, it's just a whole lot of repetition. Got to stay in a rhythm, because if I'm not staying in a rhythm, that's how you that's how you really start to go downhill. So is it's it, just lots of reps. What kind of challenge is it to call pitches and things like that? 
There's, there's a lot of thought that has to go into it. You have to know the hitters that you're dealing with, so you got to study that or mm -hmm. have it written down somewhere for yourself. But now we also have the pitch calm, so yes. the, um, the coaches can tell us what they want us to throw through do our you, ears. Do you like that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a little weird, but it's why not? Yeah, yeah. a little advantage. If it's helpful, that's awesome. Um, what, what what are the messages that coaches always want you guys to remember? Um, it's always, it's our program. So, I mean, the team, we're the ones who really run it. The coaches are here to help us along, but um, it's a, we talk a lot about communication, but it, a lot of it is just playing as a whole, playing as one and not as a bunch of individuals. What's the most fun part of this game? Probably the friendships you build, because all my closest friends are all through baseball. I could say that's that. Anthony, what has this last year been like? Uh, it's been pretty fun, just uh, bonding with the team, taking it all in one last time, trying to make the most memories I can out here with the time I still have. It's uh, It's been fun. You've been playing baseball for how long now? A long time now, it okay. seems like. Uh, probably since I was four or five years old, so. A while. Yeah, a while now. Did 14 you, years. Did you ever play any other sports? or? I played uh, basketball, football, a little bit of frisbee, a little bit of lacrosse. So wow. All a multi-sport athlete. OK. And what position are you playing here this year? I'm playing outfield. You are? OK. Did you always play in the outfield, or did you move around over the years? Uh, I started at catcher, worked my way to the infield, and now I'm in the outfield. So did, I played all over. What position have you enjoyed the most? I've enjoyed them all. OK. All right. What did you work on specifically to get a little bit better each year? Uh, I think just my work ethic, just trying to get better every day. And as a senior now, I've realized that I don't have time left, so just try to make the most out of everything. Okay. And what's the message that your coaches always want you guys to remember? Just get better. Get better at everything. Whatever every you're day. doing, just get better. Uh, I've been playing baseball since I was about three or four, so about that's about 12, 13 years. Yep. Uh, and my parents initially signed me up for it, but I fell in love with it really quickly. So it's been it's been my life since then. Did you ever try any other sports? I did. I played basketball, and I sucked at it, so I quit. <laughs> okay. And what position are you playing in baseball? Uh, I'm a catcher and outfielder, but I'm playing mainly outfield this year. Okay. And from season to season, what did you work on specifically to get a little bit better? Uh, I always work on hitting is a big part of my game, so I do a lot of hitting, uh, arm strength, speed, just kind of all around trying to build myself up as a baseball player. How do you balance the school time with the, ba the sports time? Uh, it's difficult. Luckily, my schedule's been pretty light okay. for uh, most of my high school life, so it hasn't been too hard for me to juggle. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a commitment playing baseball and doing school, so I just work hard all the time. Seems like a lot of you guys have grown up together as well and have played for many, many years. What do you think you've learned from each other? Uh, I learn a lot of um, like leadership things and um, and being a good teammate and being a good person, just like communicating to people on the on the field and off the field and uh, building a brotherhood. It's That's a awesome. big factor. It's very cool. What is the message your coach always wants you to remember? Uh, play hard. Okay. Hard, play with passion. Brandon, you're a senior. Yes. What has this last year been like? Super exciting. It's definitely way more fun than this than last year because obviously I'm getting more playing time. Yep. But I feel like last year we had some a couple of D1 commits, and this year we don't have any, so kind of have to work a little harder, and I think it's really paying off. That's awesome. What um, when did you first start playing baseball? Probably T-ball when I was like four or five. All right. Yeah. Did you play other sports over the years? I did, yeah. I played a little bit of everything, but baseball is mainly my main sport that I liked. All right. What position are you playing this year? This year I start off catching, but I'm switching to first a lot more. Okay. I think I might stay there for the rest of the season, yeah. All right. Because you've kind of played all over, do you have a specific place you, you enjoy playing more than another? or? I think definitely catching. Okay. Because it's the most like versatile position. you got to do a lot, like command the field. Yes. I think it's the most like fun because other positions can get a little boring. 
like the outfielder kind of staying there, but the catching are always doing something. Very, very true. Um, what's a message that your coach always leaves with you guys? Probably that we're like a family. We don't have any captains. I'm sure a lot of people have said that, but no, actually, I mean the family part, yeah, but not yeah. the captain part. So we don't have, yeah, we don't have any team captains on the team. He kind of says we're all like our own captains. We kind of keep each other in check. Okay. Nobody is really above another person. We're all equals. I like that. Um, from season to season, what did you work on specifically to get better? I played a lot of like tournament, like summer ball games. I was definitely catching a lot, and my arm. I don't. I was working out, so my arm got stronger, and my swing got a lot better, so I hit the ball further and harder, so just fundamental things. What do you think you miss the most about all this? Definitely the people and probably the sport because I don't think I'm going to play in college, so I'll definitely just miss playing baseball in general, but also the players, my friends, that I made along with. What has this last year been like? Um, it's been crazy. It's been, uh, I would say, like, it's been similar to last year, but our kind of team dynamic is of our team dynamic is a little different, I guess. It's much more of like a collective effort, and it's like everyone kind of plays a role now more, and you kind of don't rely on like certain people, so it's it's been different, but it's been good. This is a big senior class. This is, yeah. How this, long have you been playing baseball with most of these guys? Um, like pretty much all my life. Wow. Pretty much since I could, like if I could run, then I was probably playing baseball, so. Did you try any other sports? I, I did, I played football, um, soccer, basketball, golf, I did tennis. I, I try to play every sport as, as for as long as I can, yeah. Was this the one that really stuck with you or? Yeah, it, when I had to make a choice like to play one sport, I, I had I knew like baseball was for sure. What position did you play? Um, so in baseball, mm -hmm. um, I play center field. Okay. All around the outfield though. Okay, what do you think was, I always tell people until you're in the outfield, you have no idea how far it is from home it's, plate. Yeah, yeah. you feel kind of lonely out there and like you kind of just like, you never really have time to like, just be by yourself with your own thoughts in the dugout or anything. Like in the infield, you got people talking, you can hear the crowd in the outfield, it's like you're just all by yourself. Very true. So, yeah. What did you work on from season to season to get better in your own game? Um, I always work on my, like, my arm, trying to throw as far as I can so that I don't have to do it during the season when my arm is going to be the most tired. Mm -hmm. And um, I would just say like weight room, getting strong, getting bigger, and just, just you know, kind of refining your aspects of your game that maybe you didn't have success on last year and then just going in to next season prepared. What's the message that the coach always leaves with you guys? Um, well, he always talks about how we, we just need to, Getting better, getting better every day, just being 1% better than we were yesterday and just kind of holding yourself responsible is a big thing too. Like we kind of, like yesterday we had some time on the field just to work on what we thought we needed to and we all got our things done and we, I'd say we all got better. It's a lot of that type of stuff. And so I had to ask the guys, of course, is it Angels, Dodgers or somebody else? I'm a Dodgers fan, you know, I love, love the Dodgers now. Just got Otani, you know, hopefully we win a World Series this year. Angels. Oh, uh, I follow Ohio State baseball. Angels, Dodgers, or somebody else? Dodgers, definitely. I'm actually a big uh, Raiders fan. <gasps> okay, so yeah. you're going to jump to football. Yeah, oh, yeah. Angels, Dodgers. Dodgers, Angels, or somebody else? Who's your Dodgers, team? Dodgers till the day I die. Dodgers. I'm a big Angels guy. I like I like Mike Trout. Dodgers. Yeah? I've been a Dodgers fan all my life. Oh, I've been always been a Dodgers fan, so excited to... See them with their two new uh, international guys, Shohei and Yamamoto. So yes. um, that's going to be a fun season. I'm a Cardinals fan. Mm. Dad was born and raised in St. Louis, and I've always watched the St. Louis Cardinals play. Dodgers. Dodge. I was at the Dodgers game last night. So, Well, I'm an Otani fan. Okay. So I went to the Dodgers game wearing an Otani jersey, but I am from St. Louis, Missouri, so I'm a, I'm a Cardinals fan. I'm a Dodger. Dodger guy, yeah. Dodgers for sure. Yeah. I'm from Houston, so I'm an Astros fan. Um... I like the Cubs. My grandma's from Chicago. I'm an Orioles guy. Yeah, dad's from Baltimore. Um, I'm a big Orioles guy. Great team this year, so. I like the Red Sox. St. Louis Cardinals. <sighs> Cardinals. Dodgers Angels or somebody else? Somebody else. I'm a Yankees fan. New York, yeah. I like the Dodgers. It's a pretty uh, fun lineup they got over there. It's a lot. Of, it's been a lot of fun to watch the first few games. Uh, I'm looking forward to that pitching staff getting healthy and back because 
it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be fun to watch all year long. And that will do it for today's show. Remember, you can always watch Playing the Field Local Edition at PlayingTheFieldTV.com. I'm Maria Sorrell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.